Cotton candy. Calls the clown from behind this food stand, makes a fooey sound with a slide whistle. Come try this just invented conje confectionery delight. Fooey. Step right up, fella. Come try the world's newest candy sensations. Cotton candy, the finest, in several senses of the word. Spun sugar, created through a revolutionary new process. So light and sweet and fluffy, it's like eating butterfly dreams and getting wishes. So it's not actually made of cotton. <laughs> what? No, cotton's indigestible, no matter how much chocolate you cover it with. Yeah, you found that out the hard way, didn't you? How do you make it? He pats a metal box with a wide funnel coming out of the top. This machine, can't tell you how it works, much as I like to brag, it's a trade secret. You invented it? Uh, not as such. A couple of dentists down south of thirst ones. Dentist, go figure. But after hearing about it, I managed to figure out how it works. Made a few improvements with my design as well. Now I'm really curious. Sorry, fella. These The secrets in this box are for nobody's eyes but my own. I'd be happy to sell you some cotton candy, though. For 300 meat. That'll be 300 meat. Fweet! The clown puts a slide whistle down on the counter, ducks underneath, and comes up with a paper cone, which he holds in the mouth of the metal box. He pulls down a lever, and the machine makes a thin squealing noise as glittering white spun sugar collects around the paper cone in a fluffy cloud. Here you go, enjoy! Fweet! I really hated cotton candy as a kid. Even plain old sugar takes better on a stick. Uh, a clown here selling rubber toy balloons. When he sees you, he has your attention. He smiles and waggles the balloons enticingly. Uh, howdy there, fella. Interested you in a toy balloon? How much? For you? 30 meat. What colors do you have? Ho oh, ho, take a look. Uh, red. They're all red. How do you make them float like that? There's nothing to it. They all float down here. Ho oh, ho. I'll take one. Here you go. Can you tell me more about your circus? More of a carnival, but let's not split hairs. What would you like to know? What are your traveling plans? The place you've set up is kind of out of the way. What are your plans? Haven't decided yet. That's why we sat down somewhere a bit more rural. Get things quiet while we scout around and get lay of the land. Where do you travel from? Was the previous stop interesting? Eh, northwestish. Little hole in the ground kind of place. You wouldn't have heard of it. Hole in the ground like hell. Why is everyone working here, clown? Traditional. When the, uh, what do you call them? Rodeo stopped being put on? Rodeo clowns took out the jobs of the circus and carnivals. Over years, it became the normal thing for carnies to be clowns. Might be a community, you might say. Ho ho. Who is born to be Bob? Oh, the boss is a famous showman, though I'm not surprised you haven't heard of him around here. Got an eye like a hawk, and he's a real whiz with an eye of his. Don't miss the show, it's a highlight of the carnival. See you around, clown. Catch you later, like an alligator. Uh, okay. Ugh. It's one of the grossest things ever. The muscly clown does not want me to go in. Fine. What is the prize? A ticket to Barnaby Bob's stage show, which is otherwise sold out. Well, we have one, don't we? Circus show ticket. Admit one. Barnaby Bob's astonishing demonstration of per perspicacity and skill. You know, I guess I could have just started to buff my mysticality more. Howdy, fella. Anything I can do for you? Can you tell me more about your circus? Weren't you on the other side? Nope, that's the other balloon guy. We dress alike and use the same face paint. Did we fool you? I thought we, uh... Hmm. I thought you never were allowed to use the same face paint as someone else. It looks just like the other one, but it's hard to tell. I wonder if we can go in here and look at the eggs. Hmm. Ugh, this place is creepy. Let's go to Dynamite Dan's. We've not been there yet. The Big Apple. You saw a large horse apple in the distance. 
You're astonished by the size of it. It's very large. Horse apple is a slang term for a pile of horse shit, if that isn't clear. Your supply of dynamite for all the money that we've ever picked up. Guffin. A wad of goblin bread. It's not very appetizing like a soft grey potato. Um... The big apple. Let's go look at it. Before you can react to the sudden howling, a ghost train surges over hill and roars past, barely missing you. Three skeleton train robbers arrive behind it and barely avoid colliding with you by pulling back hard on the reins. The train vanishes in the distance and they seem annoyed by your interference. Five action points. Mysticality, go up. Oh, these guys aren't that strong, actually. Oh my god. The damage. Lose teeth, gold, tooth, and skull. Uh, as you reach the center of the clearing, you are simultaneously struck with a profound awe and terrible stench as you discover the largest road apple you've ever seen. You can't even imagine how this got here. A giant horse? 200 normal-sized horses acting collaboratively? They... they should have sent a poet. Yeah, they should have. Doesn't smell any better up close. You make a little dent in it. It's smaller than it was before. It's a bit smaller than it was before. It's way smaller than it was before. It's almost gone now. Nice. Are you doing this for your help? Because I reckon we can find a more entertaining option. Black. Hmm. Man, I totally don't know why. I was just so insistent on, um... Ooh, a cluster of gin blossoms. Strange to see them grown so far away from Allison Road, their natural habitat. You squeeze the j as much gin from the blossoms as you can manage without damaging the plant. non fake horse sales. Hmm. Sorry, I don't know why I'm like this. I don't know why I'm sleepy, that is to say. Hold off to the right moment. Hmm. We can also go to the railroad camp. That'll open the map for us. Smelvin. Or no, yeah, this guy's name is Smee. I was just... I'm so instinctive about calling him Smelvin. Here you go. Good. Perfect. This will do the trick just fine. Hang back a bit while I get the fellows to set the charges, and I'll let you do the honors. He consults with the other workers. They inspect rocks for a time. One of them shrugs, pushes the whole crate against the, of dynamite against the rocks, and wires the detonator. All right, let her rip. Don't you have a longer cable? Nope. You'll be just fine. Give me a three count before you hit the plunger, so I have time to get under the train. Great. Kablooey. The holy heck is that thing? Uh... It's a very large and angry looking thing, guy, standing here. Uh, peeved at having a year's supply of dynamite blown up next to its butt while I was sleeping. How are you going to handle this? We'll fight him. 
Oh my god. Bean shield. Bean golem. Okay, lock him down for a bit. Oh, come on, man. This will poison your target by five. Five poisons. Five units of poison. Only seven damage, damn. Don't whiff, please, don't do that. Oh, he was so young. One of us is dead. Well, we can just try it again. Hopefully that'll limit your ability to dodge stuff. Damn. 14 to 28, that's a lot better than 4 to 18. We doubled Susie's damage as well. Oh. Please stop whiffing. Since that's ranged, I might be able to put a thing up in front of me to stop myself from getting hurt like that. Interesting, he already decided to target it. Cool. You show that rock who the boss of rocks is. Well, now that is as fine of a day's work as I've ever seen. Much obliged, friend. We'll be getting the rest of this track laid down and head out now. I'll mark you the route on your map in case our paths haven't to cross again. Thanks, but can I just ride the train? You got a ticket? Ha! <laughs> just kidding. Of course you don't, because every scene on this train is sold out. Sorry, boss. The remains of your triumph over that crazy rock pile slash guy. So now we have this open, and we can just... Go. And at some point we'll have to build a bridge here, I believe. Well, let's go take a look, shall we? As you're riding the dusty desert trail, you feel a change in the air. This is thick with magical bean energy. You orient your mind along the X as the powerful magnetic bean field and follow to a cave. The great garbanzo secret hideout, fellow bean wizards, welcome. Let's check that out right now. You know, we're right in the middle of the territory. Back when the cows came home, this is where the first reports came out. Like, Ground Zero? Ah, uh, yep. Big Ranch was the first one to go. It seems like an obvious place to check out. Hellstrom Ranch. This means do Rail Camp. Potemkin Gang. Okay. Those are my big chests. Revolting Sofa. All-purpose beans are in the cushions. A can of... All-purpose beans. Can serve any purpose if you're a master chef. What? 
I've never played Bean Wizard before, so I don't know what this is. What is this? Bean Slinger? The books are too fragile to touch, but there's one that's in okay shape. How to cook advanced bean dishes and make bean iron cookware. Master cookery. It was so fragile, your close reading caused, caused it to crumble to dust. Bean iron nugget. With cosmic bean energy within. Uh, Master cookery. Your cooking skills have boiled over and splattered in the sublime. You are a preternaturally good cook. Later will we become a supernaturally good cook. I imagine this must be like a prestige cast thing. You can make something out of your bean iron. You can make a weapon to give you mysticality, a skillet, or a badge. We could cook something simple. Thinking beans, black beans, or greasy beans. You gaze at the all-purpose beans and imagine the thing you could make with them. The beans just become the dish. You're very good at this. Let's go ahead and make a bean iron spatula. Might be able to make more at some point. Plus five mysticality. It does nine to eleven damage. Right now we have a good setup for plus three, plus nine total. So we do a minimum of ten damage and that goes up to twenty-five damage. Look under the pillow. All-purpose beans. Nice. We'll come back for that later. Plate of thinking beans. Five mysticality for the rest of the day. Nice. Great garbanzo. Ring any bells? Nope. Beanslinger fell, I, uh, I suppose. What makes you think that? Well, he's named... Oh, you're joshing me. Wise ass. I, I love... I love that bit so much. Of, of like... Oh yeah, yeah. This is uh, uh, they they call this uh, broken leg drop, and they they like gesture at the side of the mountain. They're like, huh? Why do they call it that? Uh, off to one side of the desert trail, a skeleton is sitting in the shade of a rocky ridge. Some poor traveler must have succumbed to the heat. As you get closer, he's looking at a book. It's a copy of the Longfellow translation of Dante's Divine Comedy. The skeleton's in fact reading it, turning the pages and noting things in the margins with a pencil a talking skeleton <sighs> uh, sorry you took me by surprise what are you reading divine comedy a joke book that's fun most skeletons I meet hiss and attack me because you won't leave them alone while they're reading uh, no most of them are rabid mindless automatons you might find out how rabid I can be if you don't stop bugging me how do you talk without lungs how do you think without a brain that's mean go away you don't have eyeballs, so you shouldn't be able to read. Come to think of it, other eyeballs are, uh, other skeletons are able to see me, so... Whoa. A smart skeleton. Let's armor up. I don't know if this is doing much for us, so I might just stop doing that. Let's debuff you. Let's take care of you like that. Great. Yeah, it's nice to, like, build up and ensure minimums. Like, you can often, you know, improve your characters in specific ways in RPGs. Got the ring of smart thinking. 